Alrighty, we got the final two episodes of Season 4 of Adventure Time today. So very excited to see what the end of Season 4 has in store for us and how they're going to set up Season 5. I am ready. Are you? Let's watch. I remember you. Oh! This is a... That was Simon in the reflection, so this might have something to do with that. Potentially big episode. Penultimate episode. Of Season 4. Gunter! Why did you goont my fly? I goonted them and the Are you serious? What kind doesn't even goont him in the eyes? Goonter, there were tears there. I love if you the revised lyrics. Goonter, <laughs> do you even love me? The wig. Ah, oh. It's rhetorical, Goonter. Marceline's songs are so good. They are. She's a Maybe she's quite the songwriter. To write a song with me. I'd be crushing it nonstop. Oh my god, please tell me Gunther's gonna wear the wig. Yeah. Okay, wearing and eating Gunther, it. You cute little dummy. <laughs> well you know, This is not the first time he sang a Marceline song. It's interesting. JT Dog Zone always says ladies are drawn. It's JT Dog Zone Jake. And I've got a way tortured past. I think. I don't really it, 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 agree. I feel like that could be Jake. <laughs> Ooh, the past room. Flashbacks, maybe? Whoa, the past room. There's a stop sign and a surfboard. And a book? Emotionally powerful stuff in here. Still wet with tears. Oh. I'll take some of these for Wet with inspiration. You were crying into it. Sam! Well, well, well. What are you up to? Ice King is up to bad biscuits, mm, brother. Bad biscuits. Bad biscuits make the baker broke, bro. <laughs> Ice King. Okay. Job too easy. He hasn't even technically done anything, and they're just like, we're going after him. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> this guy's drum set. Are they gonna jam? I was hoping you could help me write a song. One that could help me get some princess action. <laughs> I'm not gonna help you pick up a <laughs> The <shit>. blush. <laughs> Come on. We can be a prog rock duo. Ooh, prog I rock. I like prog rock. With you. I get the princesses and you get... Especially prog metal. Like Opeth, Between the Barry and Me. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Okay, bye, Gunther. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Tangles in the cord. <laughs> Wait, what? Sometimes it happens when you fly with it. Going on with the instrument Tangles there. Tangles are hard. Oh, geez, no. Ow. Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> He's tapping out. <laughs> Is that good? Oh, I love it. What? Whoa. Oh, you got him. Nice job. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> Your constant harassment of the female gender makes me sick. What? <laughs> now he can say. Your what? constant harassment yeah. of the female what? gender makes it's me right. sick. We're working on a song together. <laughs> uh, oh. You don't want Just hand him off. Guess we'll see you then. <laughs> They're so confused. They were all amped up for this. Bye. I continue to be impressed by Ice King's, Ice King's calves. You know how many people wish they could have calves like that? What kind of song are we playing? This is an interesting hey, instrument. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Template. So this is a scrapbook, he said. Okay. <laughs> okay. Slime princess, you're all right. Flame princess, you're okay. Of course, bubblegum. I'm right outside. Oh, God. Hey, Princess, did you get my text? With a picture of my awesome gun show. Yeah. I'm also working on my pecs. <laughs> if you'd like, I'll send you a picture of that, You can too. see his mouth through the shirt. I like the song. I don't care for the lyrics. It's a lonely guy. I'm so alone. Oh. Look at that high note. Okay, you're making a mess. Oh no, he's crying. Don't make me feel bad for him. Grun in the sky, please tell me why. Grun. Stop acting like this. Oh, well, there goes that. Stop acting crazy. I just want to be loved. <laughs> uh oh. I just want to be loved. Yeah, don't put, yeah, you know, no pushing people. You know what I mean? No pushing. Maybe she shouldn't have tackled him either, but you know. Where are you going? Perching up on top of the refrigerator? I pushed you. It's nice that he apologized. That's rare for him. Why did he apologize? He never apologizes. Oh, all the red stuff. Huh? <laughs> what you got, an apple? <laughs> what you got, an apple? 
Oh, nice. Did she get a sing? Sweet. Annoying, you pitiful old man. I thought you were nice. She's got a great voice. You're really, really, <laughs> really, really, really nuts. <laughs> Probably the best voice on the show. Every time I move, eventually you find me and start hanging around. Interesting. See me, man. It's getting me down. She said, Every time I move, I'm actually glad to see. And he finds her. You like me? Of course I do, you old jerk. Oh, really? So there's a there's a history here. One of these. There, there's this history here. Ah, interesting. <gasps> no, I don't think I was gonna say, I don't think it like that. Do you, Simon? Oh, so she knows he's Simon. I don't even know who you are. Yes, I do. I am a lyricist. Oh my god, how long have they known each other? On this takeout menu, on these newspapers. Oh my god. Okay, there's this big history between these two that I don't know about. Look, this clipping, this was you, yes. Simon, before the war. We'll have to go back to that. Before the war. Yes, you took this picture. Really? Scribbled all over it. Hmm? Oh, are they good lyrics? Oh, we are going back to that. What? Wait, I don't listen. pause. I don't care. Don't say anything. Yeah, let's go. What's it say? <laughs> oh, this is going to be sad. Marceline, is it just you and me in the wreckage of the world? So he was still mostly Simon here. Oh, you're going to need me here with you. Probably. But I'm losing myself and I'm afraid you're going to lose me too. Yeah. Dude, he has no idea. This magic keeps me alive. But it's making me crazy. But who's going to save me? Okay. They're making me feel bad for him. Damn it. Whatever I do, when I don't remember you. Aw. Wow, I wrote that? Hot stuff. What? You don't remember what it means? This means? doesn't even affect him either, which is even more heartbreaking. I can't remember what it made me say. This damn crown. Remember that I saw you frown. I swear it wasn't me. It was the crime. Oh my god. To save you, but who's going to save me? The drumming's not working. They've been here the whole time. What's going on in there? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> the confusion. Oh! Hello! Oh, so he stumbled on her. And this is like... Post war. What exact war are we talking about here? Dude! So, okay. So there's this whole history between Marceline and Ice King or Simon or whatever. So he's known her since she was a little girl. So, like, how long have. So I'm not exactly sure the in terms of how many years have gone by since this moment here after this war and whatnot. Like I said, I mean, it's just the destruction. Like, I always get very excited when we see the the world, like, in, like, in the past, post, you know, you know, you know, nuclear bomb or whatever, you know what I mean? Bombs, the war, all that stuff. So what was the... Hold on, let's go back. Oh, so that stinks. So she's known him since she was a little girl. And she... You know, they probably were friends. You know, I mean, he'll probably help protect her. I'm just gonna... I'm assuming here. I'm like, don't answer these questions. And she might, like, see him... Like, she, she sees him as, a, like, a real close friend. But it must be so hurtful for her that he keeps... He forgets everything they've been through i mean obviously because of the the crown made him nuts uh so what's this simon petrikov unearths ancient treasures there's the book he has the enchiridion oh shit silly man returns from expedition with a marginally exciting discovery <laughs> it was the morning that greeted it's a, it's hard to read this article and he had like, dude, he was like famous. Like, like there's like, like they're talking about like there's an audience and everything. Emmanuel, whose title 
had translated the Enchiridion. The book seems to contain rules of conduct. I'm also working on my pecs. It's hard to read this. Where anyone, pretty much anyone, and yeah, it's... Did you get my text? Princess, did you get my text? And that's, I'm assuming that's his wife in the car there, maybe. Interesting. So he grabbed the end card. He has the end That's So this is interesting. Okay. So he had, he at one point he had it. He uh, he unearthed this. I'm glad we went back. Uh, wow. This was really interesting. I mean, I love how we got so much like his story through these, through these words he wrote and through this song. Again, we're it's such a awesome way to, you know, give some uh, exposition you really f yeah I i'm curious if I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get more of, of this history you know she mentioned like every time i move you come find me and like and I, you could tell it just hurts her that the fact that he just doesn't remember any of it and he probably played a huge role in her life it's all lost to him because of this crown but obviously she remembers it ever she remembers everything i mean you saw you saw it all with that hug like, she was here alone and crying at the end, and he, second he saw her, he just ran right to her aid, gave her that fun little monkey toy or whatever. Wait a minute. The monkey toy. The stuffed animal. Is that the one from the one episode with the ex-boyfriend? Is that the same toy? I can't remember. Let me... Because... If so, then obviously there's a the huge significance is that this came from Simon. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to look that up if that's the actual toy stuffed animal before I start my recording for the finale. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and I will confirm whether it is or not. And then we're going to watch the season four finale of Adventure Time. Let's go. It was the same toy. Hambo. I remember Hambo now. And I guess it's a teddy bear. I don't know. I thought it was a monkey. But it was. That was the toy that uh, her uh, Ash, that her ex sold. So that came from Simon. Look at me remembering things for the most part. I'm proud of myself. Wow. Great, great job connecting things. The Lich. It's happening. Finally, all that music. The Lich. <laughs> this is it. Look at that old Apple computer. Billy! And that person in the Acaridian. The snail! The bear! Times are coming. Everyone's here. This has to be like a dream or something. The owl! <laughs> you talk like Justice Billy, but you can't kick a plane. Lou Ferrigno. Um, uh-oh. Oh, no. Ah! So it was a nightmare. Okay. Dude, I'm so pumped. What a great title. It's just the Lich. Yeah. That dang snail again, man. Mucking it up again. That snail's been but watching you constantly. Billy's lady and Billy. And Billy was real scared something fierce, man. You need to go find something Billy. And the Cosmic Owl was there, too. Kinda. Screeching it up. <laughs> Screeching Whoa, it up. Cosmic Owl? What if that was a premonition dream, Finn? Yeah. You think? Better code tell Billy about it just in case. Yes, we haven't seen Billy in ages. Dang. Billy! I dreamed I was in kindergarten again. Oh. But I had really big feet and was oh. also the teacher. Oh. Okay. Your dream is not ah, as, uh... We better hurry. Interesting, but okay. Good for you. <laughs> He's a car! <laughs> Billy, There's Billy sleeping on a TV. What the heck are you guys doing in my crack? <laughs> How are these days? Is he nervous talking to Billy? to see if you're dead. <laughs> what? Why would I be dead? <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> um, Why would I be dead? I had a dream about a bear and an old lady and a snail. And the snail killed you or something. Oh my god. Oh. Was the cosmic owl there? Did he have the same dream? Uh, yeah, on TV. Your dream at the ill omen of grave sickness. Maybe not. All right, so Billy's taking this seriously. <laughs> Jake. <laughs> Ready to come with me on a mission to save all life from the lich? Yes. 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 Of course. To snatch the gems out of all the crowns of power? That's right. Cool. Why do we have to snatch them? Crowns of power. Can we just ask them for them? Hmm? No time. No time. 
<laughs> he found time to draw on my suck hamburgers. <laughs> oh, let's just put it in Jake. Okay. So they're taking all these gems of all the different crowns. Interesting. Like every princess, like everyone. High fives. Oh my god! Whose baby was that? Oh. Ow. Are you sure? It's so deep. Oh my god. What the f- Gross. Are, you, are we sure? Wait, whose baby was that? <laughs> Let that hair flow, Finn. Ooh. Hell yeah. Dude, what a final two episodes for this season. My goodness. How many gems we still need to get? Two? One? Okay. Right. Wait, two or one? <laughs> Which one? One. Hmm. Why is he not talking? I want candy. <laughs> you got anything in the saddlebag? Get out of there! Oh my god. The Enchiridion? Why does he have it? I found it in the mouth of a bear. This book is really important. How'd you find the bear? It has magical powers. How much you want to Turn bet something already, silence. something's happened to Billy? Like in the dream. Oh, the gems go in there. How? I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. But I am suspicious. I have a bad feeling. What is this? That dream. Ah. Hello, my name is Buko. Buko. Oh, the multiverse. This is the dimension that contains the universe in which we currently reside. Enhance! Oh my god. Uh, wow. Make it, stop. it doesn't stop. The center of the multiverse is a dimension called the Time Room, believed to be the quasi-corporeal dwelling place of the almighty Prismo. Almighty Prismo? A dimension that exists outside of time. Dimensions have permanent links that allow travel to and fro. Others become linked temporarily by naturally forming wormholes, and others can become wow. linked by magical portals torn open by items of great power. Oh, cool. So, multiverse and all that. Great. And we'll have the power to create a portal to any dimension in the multiverse. That's interesting. But the other end of the portal experiences a temporal synchronization, allowing for the safe passage of particles through a non-local region of space-time. This is way too much info. I'm going to push the lich in there. Oh. Oh, cool. I, I'm, I, I'm not feeling right about this. I feel like this is exactly what the lich wants. Oh, hello. What? Uh -huh. Hey! Why would you cut its legs off? You are you are always sciencing, aren't you? Oh, that's fun. Oh, oh. oh my God, what is she doing? Princess, princess. I find it very convenient that Billy had the book. I feel like the bear got caught on purpose. I'm not buying. I I I I'm just, just so suspicious. Oh my God. Oh, he hissed. Oh, the music. That was an accident. It definitely was an accident, because Finn, you're acting crazy. You literally gave her no context. Oh no. Dude, this is... No. This is not supposed to happen. I don't... I trust none of this. Finally, the book is doing something, though. How long have we known about this book? What? Dude, I knew it. I knew it. I knew something was up with. Bi I just, I just knew it. Holy shit! What? So Billy's dead? Billy? The book. Finn, give me the book. Ron Perlman. Mess Billy up. You just want to mess me all up. Yeah. Mess everyone up. That's what he wants. Tricked me. No, child. It's all. Dude, look how cool he looks. The book has great power. I can make you live forever. Just give me that book. No. You'll never get this book. Yeah. Oh shit. No. Yeah. I like how um the gumball machines knew right away that it was the lich. No, wait. He smiled. He wanted this to happen, probably. <laughs> oh, he wanted. Yes. Yeah. The second uh... I knew, I was like, he. This is exactly what he wants. This whole plan. What did you do? He thought he was doing the right thing. 
That laugh is so good. Uh, thanks. No, what is this? I couldn't have done. So is he going after Prismo? Jake, stop him! Don't let him through that portal! Like, is he going after he's trying to get to the center? Dude, like the world of Adventure Time just got so much bigger. In terms of the story and just this whole universe thing, you know? Oh! Oh! Wait! That's Finn in the, the dream! That's the... Hey, Jake's a dog. Is it says mom? Hurry! It's very important! I done donked something up yet again. Come on, Jake. Jake's just a regular dog? What is happening? Where did they go? They went to a different... universe? Probably? Yeah, dude, that is... That is Finn from the dream. That the... the with the, the king... with King Warm. So... If I... if I'm... Think... If, if I'm like, you know... Based off what the booko was talking about, we're talking about multiverses here. So obviously, yeah, we all know, you know, what they mean by the multiverse. So that image he sees in the mirror, that's he. I, is he seeing another, a different version of himself from another universe? Then, because that that is exactly it. it. Has the the arb. He's playing a flute, and Jake's just a regular dog, dude. They just went through this whole. So okay, first things first. Something just wasn't sitting right with me. You know, he has this nightmare. And he has this nightmare. And you see him getting essentially taken by the lich in the nightmare, right? And then he's like, all right, we got to do all this, blah, 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 blah. He has the book. He said he got it from a bear. The last we saw where the book was, it was in the snail's possession. I'm just like, Billy doesn't... From, from my understanding, it doesn't seem like Billy really leaves that cave much. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like he just goes and strolls around for the hell of it. So that's the second, like, like I just started getting suspicious. And then they're getting all these gems, this, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, I'm not buying this. I'm not buying this. And then, of course, you know, Bubblegum's like, yo, that's the lich, bro. Poor Billy, then. I'm pretty much, I think Billy, this confirms Billy's probably dead. <laughs> and the fact that we get the, uh, again, this show is so good at like kind of reminding you of things because we get the, we see the Uncaridian in the previous episode in the picture, in the, the photo, in the newspaper clipping with Simon to remind us of this, you know, hey, you remember this book? And this book acts as like a vessel essentially, creating a portal. So, okay, so. Map of the multiverse. This is the dimension that contains the universe in which we currently reside. And Jake's like, enhance, 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 enhance. At the center of the multiverse is a dimension called the Time Room. Believed to be the, oh my god, quasi-corporeal dwelling place of the almighty Prismo. So, Prismo must just be someone who is just like, in charge of time? Maybe if he's at the center of everything and it's an, it's a dimension that exists outside of time. So it's not even affected. Time room produces Jesus Christ time waves that are experienced by other dimensions. Some have permanent links to allow travel to and bro. Others become linked temporarily by naturally forming wormholes and others can become linked artificially by magical portals torn open by items of great power. Hence the gems. The, the one the one item of great power in the in the hologram is just the string paddle with the string the ball and the string <laughs> this got so sci-fi oh my god i mean this show has always had an element of sci-fi to it once the last gem is inserted into the uncaridian it will have the power to create a portal to any dimension in the multiverse an activated portal creates a time dilation in which either end of the portal experiences a temporal synchronization, allowing for the safe passage of particles through a non-local region of space-time. And he's like, I'm going to push the lich, the lich there. 
Oh, it was so easy to trick Jake and Finn. Because they look they 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 trust Billy so much. Because Billy is like the, the hero, man. He defeated the Lich. Yeah, they started really making it like obvious that that was not Billy. They go through the portal. This is exactly what the Lich wants. And I'm only going to assume that the Lich is trying to get to the tie rip. That makes the most sense to me. But Finn and Jake get thrown in there. And we're we're greeted by this beautiful farmland. Finn looking not exactly like the Finn we know, and obviously Jake looking like very much just like a regular dog. So it's it's try it's hard to re- figure out if this is just a different version of Jake and Finn, or this is them. I I will be honest with you, stuff with like time travel and these multiverses, like all this stuff like that, I'm not great at it. Interesting, dude. And the way the episode opened, let's just take a look at this at this dream. So you have the uncreating, you got the dogs, you got Billy and the and the his mate. Finn sees the cosmic owl. The bear's there. The snail's there. Snail's doing some incantations, reading from the Incarnation. So it just seems like the snail, or the lich, essentially just, yeah, just seemed like just took over Billy. Took his body. Dude, what a final two episodes of Adventure Time, of season four. The show is not going to be the same after this. They just, like I said, they opened up in a whole new world here. With this multiverse and portals and the fact that... The, oh my god, how's season 5 going to start now? Because Jake and Finn are not in the universe we know. They're somewhere else now. And obviously the Lich is... God knows what the Lich is up to. Because again, I'm going to assume the Lich is head for the time room. To what he wants to do, I don't know. And dude, I gotta give this show all the credit, man. Even when you're doing all these goofy episodes, which a lot of, of the show has been that for the, the first four seasons, like a lot of just kind of like just world building, disjointed type of episodes, they do find these time this time to stick like really lore heavy stuff. The constant presence of the snail has been such a genius piece of writing. Constantly having the snail in almost every episode in the background somewhere, whether you've noticed him or not. And then to have the Lich take over the snail and become the snail and then continually have the snail lurking and watching and everything without anyone noticing him. is such a great idea. It's something I've really enjoyed. And so I always get so excited when I see the snail. And obviously, you know, I always go, ah, Great, great, great final two episodes of season four. Uh, I remember you was just a great episode, getting a lot of just a lot of info and a big history between Marceline and Ice Kings. And it's it's a pairing that I would never expect it for, you know, I love, you know, making the connection between Hembo, her stuffed animal, and linking it to, to Simon. And that's where she got it. And for that, and no wonder she absolutely lost it on her ex on Ash for selling it, because literally that's that's probably like the last, the last thing she had of like just of Simon. You know what I mean? Like before he went completely into Ice King territory because of this crown. My goodness, dude! Adventure time, dude! I'm ready for season five. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, watching my reactions to Adventure Time. Stay tuned for the beginning of season five. Uh, now that we're getting into season five, the episode count has increased. It's like fifty something episodes, I think, in season five. So we're going, we're going to go to four episodes of video for Adventure Time. Uh, maybe sometimes we'll do three. It it all depends what my workload is like week by week. So there might be some weeks where we'll go back to, we'll be three, but we're going to aim for four an episode. Like we're doing with uh amazing world of, Gum- of gumball. So yeah, stay tuned for that. If you're new here, subscribe. If you want to see more adventure time on the channel, don't forget to like the video and help out with that algorithm. I would appreciate that. And don't forget the comment as well. Oh man. I can't imagine some of your reactions to those two episodes. Uh, I bet the, I bet the fans were in a, in a big tizzy over those two episodes. Uh, man, just the Lich is so great. What a great villain. What a great design. It's terrifying. Ron, getting Ron Perlman to voice him was a just a masterstroke. And 
Yeah, and if you want some early access, we're always three, four episodes ahead each week of the YouTube edits over on Patreon if you want to check out the Patreon as well. Full-length reactions, full watch-along. Just have to hit play, sit back, and enjoy. Don't have to do anything extra, no extra work, whatever. It's $5 a month for everything on the Patreon. That There's a lot of shows we're watching there. Uh, we're also going to be getting a regular show over on Patreon. Uh, it will not be popping up on YouTube. So here's the thing. Regular show, I was never going to watch my own time. I was never going to watch it for YouTube because I didn't want to bother recording and, and having to edit that show. I'm sure the show is fine. I It was on the Patreon exclusive poll. It's going to take over for Steven Universe once I finish Steven Universe over there on Patreon. So regular show will be the new Patreon exclusive at some point within the next uh, month or so. So, yeah. So d d before anyone is like, damn you for, you know, putting it behind a paywall well the thing is it was either going to be that or not at all so that's that's basically how it goes because i i'm not i'm not as i'm excited to watch it but not excited enough to put all that work into it in terms of like making thumbnails editing all that fun all that stuff uh patreon's a much easier thing to do so if you like regular show uh it will be over on patreon at some point, that will be under the tier one, four dollar a month tier, which will give you access to Steven Universe as well as regular show. So yeah, that's all. There's the the news. That's yeah. I think that's it, folks. I'll see you for the next video. See you for season five. Have a good day. Bye.